Hey everybody, it's Henry Steele. Today is June 8th, 2021, which makes this the second weekly video for the month of June 2021. Now in this video, I want to talk a little bit about some ratios, square roots, cube roots, and the resultant ratios, and working with them a little bit. So let's start with the number two. Finding the square root of two, it's pretty easy. Push the square root button there. And then a very popular number. This is actually a ratio. 1.414 and so forth and so on. That's the square root of two right there. It's also known as the second root of two, which means this ratio, if we multiply it by itself or square it, in other words, we use this number right here twice, it comes back to the original number, which in this case is two. So we multiply this number, let's put it in memory, then multiply it by the same number, and we get the number two again. Obviously I could have just pushed the squaring button, but so that is the second root of two. It's also the square root of two, same thing. We can take the number two again and find the cube root of two right here they have a specific button for that and the cube root of 2 is 1.2599 or about 1.26 rounded to the nearest 100th place right there and this is a ratio that let's put it in memory right here if we multiply this number this third root of 2 or cube root of 2 if we multiply it by itself we've used it twice and we come to this number right here now if we multiply this number by the original number, which is the cube root of two or the third root of two, we've used it three times and we come back to the number two. Now we can go one step further here and find the fourth root of the number two. So we'll use this button right here on this calculator. Enter the number two, which we have right there, then press this button and then the number four so the calculator knows we're looking for the fourth root of two. Press enter and we find the fourth root of two is 1.189 and so forth and so on. So that means this ratio right here, this number gets used four times to come back to the number two. So if we put it in memory right there, we square this number or multiply it by itself so that's using it twice and you'll notice that when we use it twice we land at the square root of two then this number gets multiplied by our original fourth root of two ratio right there and then we get this number 1.6817 so we've now used the fourth root of two three times we take this number right here and multiply it by the fourth root of two the fourth time and it brings us to the number two right there. Okay, so you've probably, you're probably understanding what's happening at this point in time. The place where some people get confused with this is they think they can just hit square root over and over again and it does the same thing, but it doesn't. It actually goes um, by well, it goes, let me show you. So we have the number two right here. We find the square root, and the square root of the number two is this ratio right here, this number 1.414 and so forth. If I find the square root of this again, this isn't the third root of two, it's now the fourth root of two. See, we previously found the fourth root of two. So in other words, finding the square root of the number two gives us the second root of two. Finding the square root of the square root of two gives us the fourth root of the number two. So that means finding the square root of the fourth root of the number two will actually give us the eighth root of the number two. Do that again, and 1.0905, that's actually the eighth root of the number two, and we can prove this to ourselves, pushing the number two button right there, uh, finding pushing this button right here and then the number eight and we get the same ratio right there so if we use this ratio multiply it do it eight times use this ratio eight times we will come back to the number two but for time purposes in the video I'm not going to go ahead and do that now in music theory a very popular 
number is the twelfth root of two. So let's look at that. We get the number two, find the twelfth root, and that ratio is 1.059463, so forth and so on. So if we use this ratio right here 12 times, like I showed previously in the video, we'll wind back up at the number two, or we'll wind up at the number two right there. So this is the 12th root of two, and it's used in music because there are 12 semitones in an octave in music right there. But this is something you might want to play around with just a little bit and find different roots of different numbers, like the, for instance, if we take the number two and find the fifth root of the number two, we have the number 1.14869, so forth. Another one is if we find the seventh root of the number two, we have 1.14869. 04, 0895, and so on. So I would recommend that if this is something that you find interesting, that you play around with it a little bit. Because the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, tenth, even the hundredth root of different numbers can give you some interesting numbers in return that you might recognize in one form or fashion. So the fifth root of two is one of those numbers. The seventh root of two is one of those numbers. The ninth root of two, there's two, ninth root right there, 108, 1.0800, okay. So you can also use the number three and find the fifth root of the number three. Find the seventh root of the number three all these different things so you i'm not going to show you anymore because hopefully by now you've realized and understood how to do it it's pretty simple um, you can just use this button on your calculator you're going to find something similar to it basically you're just looking for the square root symbol with algebraic letter notations on either side of it and that's going to let you enter in your number then you push that button to let the calculator know that you're entering in a number that's going to represent the root number or the fifth root of the number two, so forth and so on. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Hopefully this has been helpful to at least a few of you, and I will talk to you in next week's video.